my dear. Welcome to my channel. So in this series of Amazon interview experience, this is the third video. So in this video, I'll be discussing about the Amazon virtual group interviews. That is the final round of Amazon interviews for SDE. So in the virtual loop interviews, the final round that is, it uh, typically consists of uh, five interviews and each interview is of one hour each. So three of them out of the five will be the technically focused and two will be purely focused on the Amazon leadership principles. So all the rounds are connected in the same day without any gap in between them. And it is like there is like five to 10 minutes of break between each break. Uh, like each in each interview and each interview is being held by a separate interviewer they they can be like uh uh, uh like uh, rounds uh, like as mentioned in the email they cannot be in the same same continuation they can be like randomly up and down depending upon the interviewer availability but they will send you an email regarding which interview is going to conduct the email at what time but all of them will be in continuous mode without any break, a long break between them. Just five to 10 minutes break we, they, we can take. So as I mentioned, there will be three technical interviews. The first like can be a coding uh, in which you have to write a logical and maintainable code. And next one will be a problem solving. The problem solving question, uh, they will give you some problem and you have to solve it. Either you using start with the brute force method approach or you can use as data structures and you can first define the algorithm, how you're going to solve that problem. And then you can start writing the actual code. And there will be a system design question uh, that will be totally depending upon like scalability and operational performance. And two of the interviews uh, out of the five will be totally a behavioral interviews in which they will just talk about the leadership principles. But in my case, it was a little bit different, varies from, from a position to position like for which job description you are being interviewed. So in my case, there were four coding rounds and one only one was a behavior round. So, but most commonly you will get three technical rounds and that, that is comprising of the coding as well as the system design and two behavior interviews. So this was the <clears throat> typical format that has been uh, sent to me before the interview day. So you can see over there, technical interview one that consists again, the same thing, coding data structure, dealing with ambiguity. Uh, again, one more thing I would like to make it clear, like each round, even though if it is it the coding round, there will be like 15 to 20 minutes. Each interviewer will ask you from any one of the leadership principles, at least two questions will be there, will be asked by the interview at the end, in the end of each round. So it is not like that this uh, technical interview, they won't ask you about the leadership principle, but they will ask you about the leadership principles. So make it sure you go through all the leadership principles and prepare yourself the stories that all the real time scenarios that you're going to explain. And you should, uh, you should follow the star approach as I mentioned in my previous videos. So uh, then the technical interview too, uh, they can like ask you about like, as I said, you logical and maintainable code then the system design and uh, again the behavioral questions will be there so basically uh, there will be three sdes that that they, that will be going to conduct your uh, technical interviews and the bar raiser will be from some other department or from some other uh, team in which you are going to be hired so that guy will be a bar raiser who will decide whether you have raised the bar or not and behavior interview it will be your hiring manager so who is the finally going to decide whether you you're going to be hired or not so in the technical interview one mine was a bar raiser because that guy was from a different team he was working for alexa and i was being interviewed for the cloud front so in my that round the interviewer asked me like given a list of case sorted iterators implement merging uh, iterator to merge them. So I need to create a function and I need to write it. Uh, those uh, iterator has next and next methods I have to write for the case sorted iterators. So it was an, 
it was challenging and uh, the interview itself like uh, if you start making some mistakes the interviewer will guide you out like what mistakes you are making it and whether you are ch changing the code or not but it was quite good my round was quite good and later after finishing that coding round around like 20 he gave me around like 15 to 20 minutes to finish up that uh, that implementation then uh, then he straight forward went to the leadership principles he asked me two questions from that and uh, my interview uh, went beyond one hour because uh, there are there were lots of discussions and all and uh, the interviewer were quite happy with my answers it, then uh, the second round the interview was waiting for me but still the technical round that was being held the interview gave me five ten minutes to just take a break to refresh myself and then we start the technical round two so in round two that was my system design interview so in that he asked me to design a CAS system so uh, it was really nice like he was one of my team members with which i was going to work with and uh, he told me to design a CAS system i explained him from the basics like what would be the approach what are the key things that i need to consider and all and it was like uh, quite a question and answer around like lots of questions were being asked by the interviewer in between like why you're choosing this why not that particular uh, sql or no sql so these kind of questions were there for preparing for the system design i will be providing you the link in the end of the video so from which you can prepare yourself different system design questions but again one thing make it sure the team or the profile for which you're going to give the interview the questions will be uh, around related to that as i was being interviewed for the cloud front so most of the questions my questions were related to the caching and all how we can uh, uh, how we can improve the, improve the reduce the latency so most of the questions were related to that now after the finishing this designing a design a system a cache system the interview asked me again two leadership principle questions so he was quite happy he told me like okay and this interview also went beyond one hour and uh, he was quite satisfied with my answers and he told me see you soon in our with our team in ireland then that's how he signed off then my next interview came up so that guy was also quite cool he was working for facebook previously and he told me to design a cash class function and abstract methods it was purely oops object oriented programming I have, to, I have to show all the concepts over there and he gave me around 20 to 25 minutes to write it down and then he went to the leadership principle questions few questions he asked related to uh, like data and all whether the data if you're not given the data how you handle the situation how you will approach so basic questions all related to the leadership principles then after finishing this round my next round was with again a technical round and it was uh, related to the data structures so this question this question is a quite common question that word ladder problem it is problem the name so he gave me like two words begin word and end word and a dictionary word list so basically you will be given an input like suppose if i'm providing a begin word hit and end word is cog the word list will be hot dot dog lot log cog so <laughs> i was i was thinking a lot how to solve these questions and like uh, in order to uh, like decide my approach and all i spent around like uh, 10 10 to 15 minutes and uh, then i figured it out like how to solve this question i explained the approach like i will be using the binary search approach and all and this is how <clears throat> then i will look through the uh, all the words and all and i will find the appropriate words like replacing each character at a time so it but it took quite a long bit i was not able to complete this one it um, like finishing the code it took me more than one hour so the interviewers were also running out of the time he didn't ask me any leadership questions and he was just he just quickly signed off from the interview so i think this round was not quite good from my side but anyhow i was able to define my approach and i was able to solve the question not fully but partially about 75 percent but i should have done completed this question fully then after finishing this round there was the next round that was the fifth round behavior interview and it was with my hiring manager he was the most toughest person and he was asking like you know uh, 
three or four leadership principle questions and in each and every question he was like getting into depth why like that where you did and he was like you know uh, getting quite deep in order to understand what is what is the answers i am providing and why i am providing those answers so it was not that pretty good but i would say on average it was just an average round for me then after finishing this all the rounds i was just waiting for my uh, like results so it took me around like um, seven to eight days to get my results and i was being informed by my recruiter that uh, we were quite happy with your performance but due to uh, some uh, sponsor visa sponsorship issues and all and uh, uh, due to because my one of the interviews was lagged behind the loop interviews so so they get they told me that okay in the next time we will be giving you the opportunity in order to for so if some other roles are there in the future we will definitely we will get back to you that was the response i get from amazon so in order to prepare for all these things all these hectic things it took me 2 months to go through this so i would recommend those who are preparing to uh, apply in amazon and all so prepare yourself beforehand i was not that much prepared but still i prepared a lot but uh, it was a nice experience in order to know how this big fat companies works so in order to in, in order to get into all these companies like we need to practice a lot with the uh, lead code hacker ranks and lead for eeks and make it sure you have a clear concept related to the data structures linear and non linear data structures sorting algorithms uh, problem solving things then even uh, you need to go with the system design questions and all so try to solve these questions and whenever we are giving a solution try to solve it with the suitable data structure or and try to minimize the complexity so when giving the interviews don't make assumptions too quickly and take your time um, even though if you know the answers directly don't straight forward start typing the code and all first try to explain the situation and then uh, and then ask the interviewer to repeat then we can at the scene before answering any technical problem explain how you will answer question rather than just jumping into solving the problem so without setting the scene so and moreover use i wherever possible when answering your questions rather than using v because they want to see what was your point of view what was your input and what was your contribution and always remember to be humble and show humility but most of the interviews are quite good they are very nice they they try to make you relax even if you are nervous during the interviews they they def they definitely help you out if you having if you are stuck with something in order to see whether are you able to are uh, you giving up or you are just picking up the things from there so that is another thing they are just looking for the study content uh, there is alexu the system design interview that i was told this is a very nice book so for system design i would recommend to use this one system design interview i even i have put it in my github account and also there is sample system design answers also there this is don martin is there and you can go through it these are quite good answers are there and in order to get deep understanding of data structures and algorithm you can go ahead with problem solving with algorithm and data structures by brad miller and that the big sheet sheet that i have already explained in the previous videos so that's all was my experience with uh, amazon even in the i will be in my description i will be posting the links important links for the books and even i will provide you the github links in which i will be sharing the materials with you i hope you like this uh, keep on sharing and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching